Well, it seems like one of the kings of telling women to take accountability for their actions does not want to take accountability for his actions. The great fresh from the Fresh and Fit podcast, Mr. Men need to step up and women need to take accountability does not want to take accountability. There is a crazy story going on right now on Twitter where Mr. Fresh, king of accountability for women, has been exposed as having gotten a model pregnant. And he's telling her he wants her to have an abortion because he doesn't want the baby. But he wasn't talking like that when he was dogging her raw. He wasn't worried about any of that when he was doing the nasty, but now he does not want to take responsibility for the consequences of his actions. He wants to actually escape and tell this young lady that she should in fact not have the baby and that he will not be there if she decides to go through with having the baby. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. Yeah, that would be the definition of killing. A, she would literally be killing that baby, Mr. Walter. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids, you know? Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. The fact that he says he doesn't want any kids right there just goes to highlight these people, these red pill bozos, because you guys know how I feel about the red pill community, how they live double lives. This man is always on the screen telling young men to take responsibility when they make mistakes or when they choose to take a certain specific action. He's telling this young lady he does not want a baby, but he didn't care about any of that when he was nutting inside of her for a month. Because as you guys will see, they were doing the nasty for a month before she got pregnant. And might I add, this woman is fine. I don't know what she saw in Walter to even allow him to do that. I mean, I guess I know what it was. She's literally trying to trap him. Let's not pretend like she is innocent in this fiasco. She was literally letting a man that looks like this and can't string together a single sentence without stuttering nut inside of her because she saw him as a meal ticket. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby? I mean, I to, to the doctor, I guess. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Fair question. Something like... There's no way that that's true, but then it's like, oh, wow, like... So just think about it, it's mean to be. God, right? wants, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. I want you guys to pay attention to the manipulation tactic that she's using here. She's using religion as a way to tell him to justify her actions. Now, I get it. Again, like I've said already, we all know she's doing this for the money or the perceived money she thinks that Walter has. And I'm sure they've got a decent amount of money i mean fresh and fit was very popular on youtube they were getting millions of views before they got demonetized and they're still getting views but now they're on rumble i believe they're still on youtube they're just not making any money on youtube or from the youtube partner program directly but i'm sure they're monetizing somehow and they're probably still making money on rumble probably not as much as before but this is just a way for her to basically get a meal ticket because that's what a lot of women, and we see this all the time in sports, especially with basketball players and football players. You see this all the time. All these young 19, 20, 21 year old players getting these 30, 31, 32 year old women pregnant. But it's because the women want a meal ticket. I remember there was a famous case that I saw a couple months back of a woman who wanted to divorce her famous soccer player husband and she was actually devastated because turns out he did not have any money to his name. So she couldn't get a dime from him. Everything that he had was to his mother's name. And so she ended up just playing herself. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're in a relate. You're fucking me for a month. 
and I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already sin by having sex, but it's too late now. You know. So the conversation gets cut off there, but I have more information regarding this. Now, before this video came out, there were some texts between the two that were leaked, and I'm going to read them out to you guys right here on the screen. The text start by him saying it was a joke, and she says, all I'm saying is you should take the responsibility for what you did. I am a victim in this relationship, and I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. He responds, also, I'm not, also now I'm worried to have to test other girls, at least four. Another girl, she says, four girls? Are you saying you have sex with four girls without protection? This is how nasty, nasty, nasty this man is. Claims he doesn't want kids, but can't even be bothered to put on a condom to make sure that he doesn't even accidentally get these women pregnant. He can't even be bothered to do that. But this is the man of accountability, the man who preaches to women to take accountability for their actions and preaches to men to step up and be men. And he does not want to step up and take care of his responsibility. I hope you have all the money for your children's support. There it is. This is what we were talking about. It's just a meal ticket to her. She might not even actually want that baby. I'm sure she didn't want to even sleep with this man, but she just took it and let him do whatever he wanted not up in her because she said, well, at least I can get some money out of this. You finally admit you are fucking fucking trash. He says, I don't have money. Good luck. LOL. You will see. You should have a kid with someone you are in love with in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now. So, you know, he's literally not manning up. She says, I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was in your house. And when I was in love, you wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, you did come in me with your own pleasure. I think she means like he came inside of her out of his own will. Like she wasn't asking him to. She just, he just did it. Um, she, Supposedly this lady is a Chinese model and she won like Miss Asia or something So as you can see she doesn't seem like she was born in this country. Her English is extremely bad Be logic and be a man. I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby He says what are you saying? We are not together and won't be why would that be good for a kid? She says so why did you keep coming inside in me? He responds also things happen and yes feelings change but bringing a kid into this world without both parents Love is cruel we both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. Why would you think that you coming inside a woman wouldn't get her pregnant? That's just the question that I have for him. Did she maybe trick him? Cause I mean, this guy seems kind of slow, especially when you're in that kind of lifestyle, you should know that these women are out there actively preying on successful men. Did he get tricked by this woman? She probably told him that she couldn't have kids or that she couldn't get pregnant because she was on the pill or she had a device installed or she had the pill in her arm. And he fell for it? Is that what happened here? But I mean, I don't expect anything less from a man like Walter, who lies even about his sexual escapades. These men don't live the life that they claim they live. A lot of the shit that they talk about is all for show. They won't actually do the things that they act, they preach to other men and the things they preach to other women. They won't actually live by those standards. It's rules for thee, but not for me. That's how these people live. This is why I find the whole red pill army shit cringe and these guys are cornballs. Like I talked about in my last video when I talked about feminism, that one guy, Donovan Sharp, literally in all his videos would claim that if you were a post 30 year old woman, you have hit the wall. If you have kids, you have hit the wall. You're undesirable. And he married a single mother that was 44 years old with a child. These guys don't actually practice or believe what they preach. They do it online for the grift. They just want to make a buck off of you. And a lot of idiot young men, or I'm sorry, I don't want to call them idiot, but impressionable young men eat this shit up. Three to four weeks, doctor says. He responds, oh, okay. She says, it's our baby. You want to kill our baby? You are not being a good human. He responds, it's not about that right now. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. She says, I never agreed. Question, 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 Mark. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep coming inside of me, I will get pregnant. I don't get pregnant without your behavior. Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you. I don't because you are nothing to me, but this baby is innocent. Again, she 
doesn't want to be with him. She just wants him for his money. And then we have here on the screen what appears to be two pregnancy tests that this young lady took. She continues, you always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. He says, I'll call you shortly. And she says, take your time. There seems to have been some sort of call. And he responds with, I can't have kids. And she responds with, take responsibility for your action. Now, this is not surprising at all. Again, these guys don't actually believe any of the stuff they say. They say it because it makes them money. I'm assuming he believes he doesn't want kids at this point in time is because people are going to dog him for it on his show. They're going to question why he preaches the things that he preaches with fit, but he doesn't live by his own values. He has a kid out of wedlock with a girl who was clearly with him for his money, which is what these guys are always telling guys to avoid. They're always telling other men to avoid the gold diggers. And he, all they do is sleep with these gold diggers and apparently now get them pregnant. So is fresh and fit going to be over? I don't think so. Personally, nobody really respects Walter. There's been times where people call in on the show and literally question like, what is his, what does he bring to the show? You know how they always ask these women what they bring to the table. They literally call on the show to ask Walter what he brings to the table because he literally brings nothing. And Fit has defended him. Fit ha says it's his financial support. So he brings in the money, which, okay, that's cool. Then maybe Fresh doesn't need to be on the podcast. Maybe he could be a behind the scenes kind of guy and just let Fit do his own thing. Now, I think it's too late for that because it, the show has been going on the way it's been going on forever and that'll ruin the dynamic. But a lot of people don't actually care for Walter. Walter doesn't really say much on the show. Walter barely has any input. And when he does, it's like stupid dad humor. Is it over for this guy? I don't know, but I just think it's highly hypocritical that he's always telling people to take responsibility for their actions. And he's literally trying to walk away from his responsibility of having a baby with a woman that he was coming inside of for a whole month. But that's all I got for the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and follow me on social media. The links are always in the description down below. Also join the Discord. Link is also in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.